Hello everybody. This is Mr. 13 Things. I'm going to take you out here to the GitHub site and show you where you can get the Khan Academy API, which was where you could dig into all kinds of data using the API interface. Is this recording? It is recording, I think. But I'm just playing around and I'm just making sure I can do it on this computer. Uh, so GitHub. If you don't know what GitHub is, look up Linus Torvalds. Cool stuff. It's how open source software is worked. Com slash con. This is an expanding site over time, but here with these repositories, you have something called an API, Khan Academy API. And within that, you'll have something that you'll learn to at least collaborate with people to write some basic scripts, depending on what you're doing. Um, as you build out and want to do maybe predictive models, responding to intervention and the like. But if we go here to full API documentation, you start to see these things here, full list of authentic API methods, and they'll explain how to go about doing things. What I want to point to here is the API Explorer because we're going to very quickly show you basically within this framework, which is going to be tough to see, right? We're going to try to make this out a little bit here and let's see what we can do. So you can kind of, kind of try that requesting data and the data is coming out here. You can't see the data on the screen, but I'm not going to screw it up. What I'm going to show you is that you can then go through and grab it. All right, so I'm not logged in, so it's on there as you go through and then go ahead and copy. And the reason you might do that is many full, but very often you might want to do some reformatting on the data. And I now I'm going to bring up one of the most important programs to kind of explore in the open source world. And that is Notepad++. I'm going to try to move it into that frame. Notepad++ is a flat ASCII editor, and it does a lot more than that. I can now do File, New, and then right away, Paste, and all that data from the API comes in. So in this case, I didn't pull any data out, but in this editor here, you have a lot of ability to do all kinds of different things. Um, pulling up data based on dates. Uh, it's a great way to keep track of new exercises that come along. It's also a great way to kind of delve deeper into uh, data for students. This, once again, is to show you what is possible. Um, and as a classroom teacher, you probably won't start with this, but you do want to get very much aware of how data is stored. Um, black box doesn't always work. Um, we want to understand a little bit of what's in the black box, and this kind of gets you into the black box of the data store uh, on the Google App Engine that Khan Academy uses to store uh, all that clickstream data and, and video watch data, the kind of things that may, you know, um, help you to serve uh, your students better and uh, cut grading um, or make give you more substantial time with your students. So I'm going to hit, and I'm not going to save that, so that was Notepad++. This was the API Explorer, and you see these kind of things evolving even from week to week. Um, and so I'm going to go back here a few times, and we'll finish this out in a second. The fact that you can get videos, you can do all kinds of other things, and this basically, this Google up slash con is where a lot of information uh, that's publicly available in terms of the open source world, kind of the back end of Khan Academy is available. With that said, I'm going to once again bring you up, show you we were capturing on Cam Studio. We were, in this case, capturing at 932 by 461. You really would like to can capture at 1280 by 720. It makes things a lot easier. What I'll do when I'm done here is hit and close it out, save it to an AVI file, and then right away upload it to YouTube. Uh, or whatever engine you're doing, uh, flash drive, whatever you want to do to keep track of stuff. YouTube, however, works great.